So I'm participating in Dewey's 24 hour readathon with the small caveat that technically the readathon started at 8 a.m. this morning and it is currently 6 30 p.m. So I'm just gonna shift the time frame a little bit because I didn't have time to do the readathon during the day today. So I'm going to make it go into tomorrow instead. I think I'm gonna go from 7 p.m to 7 p.m. I have a couple books that I'm planning to read during this. My priority is finishing off the Witch Boy series, so it's The Hidden Witch is the second book, and then I also have the third book, which is The Midwinter Witch. These are by Molly Ostertag, and this is a series about a boy who is from a family of shapeshifters and witches, where all the men are the shapeshifters and all the women are the witches, but he feels more drawn to witchcraft than shapeshifting, so it's very adorable, and I want to continue in the series. It's also perfect for the Halloween spooky time, so I'm planning to do that, and I should be able to get those done pretty quickly. They are graphic novels, so I have a few other books that I could also read. Another one that is pretty quick, I think, will be the Galaga Girl book. This is the fifth book in the Galaga Girl series. It's Out of Sight, Out of Time by Allie Carter. This is one of my favorite series from childhood, and I've never finished it, so I'm planning to finish it now. I also have the sixth book on hold from the library that may or may not come in tomorrow. We'll see, but I have this one on hand that I can probably get through really fast. They're YA and it's written pretty big. I just read the first four recently and I would get through about one a day. So I could also do that. I also have The Bone Witch by Rin Chipeko checked out from the library. I'm about 26% in on audiobook. And I also have The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms by N.K. Jemison, which I have on ebook and audiobook. So I have plenty of things that I can read in this 24 hours. But I think as soon as it hits seven o'clock, I'm going to get started with The Hidden Witch. I just finished The Hidden Witch. It was super adorable, as I expected. These characters are so cute, and I love this world. The resolution was a bit quick, but it is a graphic novel, so you can't really expect too much. But I really enjoyed it. It's super cute, and I'm just gonna go straight into the third book. I'm very excited. it. These are so cute. This whole series is adorable. I like this one more than the second one actually. I think the first one's my favorite and then the third and then the second but they're all so cute. They have such good messages and really good conversations. The coloring is beautiful. These are so aesthetic and this one's more wintry obviously because it's the midwinter which the other one was a lot more fall and it was so pretty. I just love the color palette. I'm glad I finally got to finish the series. I read the first one probably a year or two ago, so it's been a long time coming and I'm very happy that I finally finished it. I don't know what I'm going to read next. I will probably pick up the Gallagher Girl book next or maybe continue in my audiobook, my, The Bone Witch by Rinch Becco. That's it. I don't know yet. I have to decide. It's still nine o'clock, so still have some time tonight. Bye. 
So I may have overestimated how much I could read in 24 hours, which is not that surprising, but so far I've spent the entire day finishing off The Bone Witch by Rin Jepeko. I don't know how I feel about this book. It's about a girl who can summon the dead back to life and politics, sort of. I, I'm very confused because I never really felt that drawn into the story. It was interesting but not compelling in any way. The characters were a little bit weird, like I couldn't fully understand their motivations or the way that they were acting, like the brother confused me a lot. I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> the plot was very slow, especially to start with when she's just being introduced into this world of like honing her powers and becoming basically a geisha, but I uh, I don't know, I'm confused. I don't think it's a series that I'm going to continue, mainly just because I have no strong attachments to it. It did end in a very dramatic place, but at the same time, I don't care about what's going to happen. I really don't. I considered DNFing it for a long time, but I didn't, and I'm not sure why. This is not a feeling that I've ever really had after reading a book and I'm very confused. But it's currently 5.30, which means I only have an hour and a half left of this readathon. I don't know how much more I can get read. I might start my Gallagher Girl book because I could get a decent way into it. I'm definitely not gonna be able to finish it, but it's a very quick read. So I could finish it today, even if it doesn't fall within my 24 hour <laughs> readathon. Still, finishing three books is pretty good, I think, for 24 hours, even if two of them were graphic novels that really take no time at all to read, but it sounds nice, doesn't it? <laughs> It's 7 p.m. so my version of Dewey's 24-hour readathon has officially ended. I did start the uh, Out of Sight, Out of Time. I keep forgetting the name of this book. There are so many of them. I started this. I'm 74 pages into it, so it is a very fast read. It's YA and I am really enjoying it. It's very intriguing. I've never read this book. I read the first four books twice now and now I'm finishing the series and I don't know what's happening. Our main girl has amnesia, so everything is kind of confusing at the moment and a little bit scary, and I can't wait to finish it. It's going very well. But that's it for the readathon itself. I finished three books and I started a fourth. I don't know how many pages that is. I think it's 200 for each of the graphic novels, and then it was an. 11 or 12 hour audiobook for The Bone Witch and I was 25% through it so I read 75% of that today. So around like 8 or 9 hours or something. And then 74 pages of this book so that's quite a lot of reading for 24 hours. I'm pretty happy with that. I would say it's pretty successful. And I had a great time. 24 hour readathons are really fun and I should do them much more often. Let me know if you'd like that. Otherwise, I am going to go now, probably watch some spooky movies, and I will see you later. Bye. Hi, I'm back. It's 11 o'clock and I finished this book. I sat here and read it in one sitting and it was fantastic. Okay, I'm really gonna go now. Bye!